This video is brought to you by Gary, the most versatile robot in the world for your home or business. Details in the description. Meet Theo Janssen, an artist from the Netherlands who has been building self-sufficient sculptures called Strandbees that are surprisingly lifelike in their movement. Through over 30 years of trial and error, Janssen has learned how to create living sculptures that roam the beaches of his homeland without the need for motors or batteries. But are these just clever works of art? Or could these strange plastic robots be the future of all autonomous machines? And if they were, could we expect future robots to become entirely self-sufficient by harnessing natural elements like solar power and wind? Theo Janssen created his first strand beast in 1990. Since then, he has continued improving his designs and making his creations more autonomous and lifelike. At first, his creatures would just walk blindly forward, being pushed by the wind. But now, they can sense when they enter the water and steer themselves back to the beach. They can convert wind into compressed air that is stored in plastic bottles on their backs. Then they use this air for movement once the wind dies down. And some of them can even soar into the air, which helps them keep their feet clean of excess dirt and allows them to live longer. While each strand beast may seem like a one-off work of art, they're actually part of a more extensive experiment in autonomous living things. According to Smithsonian Magazine, Janssen's strand beasts may be his most significant contribution to science. Through them, he explores fundamental concepts like evolution, adaptive behavior, and self-sufficiency. Janssen was always interested in how insects worked and took inspiration from their simple and efficient designs. The idea was to build one very simple system that he could scale up as much as he wanted by adding more modules. Each strand beast also has a unique walking pattern thanks to a special controller that tells each leg when it should extend and flex based on wind speed, ground conditions, and step length. Usually, when we think of robots, we think of metal, electricity, and computers. But Janssen's creations fly in the face of robotics conventions. These are walking, decision-making, autonomous machines that use no electricity, no circuitry, no programming, and are made entirely of PVC pipes, plastic bottles, and rubber tubing. And sure, you can't put a strand beast in your house and expect it to make your bed or clean your floor. Still, as artificial intelligence and robots improve and become more widespread, humanity needs to consider how we will build a sustainable future. More robots means more energy, and if we could learn from Janssen's experience and find a way to power some of the robots with sustainable, clean energy, that would make the future much brighter. If you like this video and want to hear more about everything interesting in the world of robotics, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever we upload a new one. And, as always, stay curious.